The question of what to do with an aging, high-hour Sikorsky S-92 helicopter may have just been answered by VIH helicopters, which has started converting them to fire bombers, a novel use for the large cabin rotorcraft. The S-92 entered service in 2004 as a mainstay in the offshore petroleum, search and rescue, and head of state transport markets. Currently, there are more than 260 of the type in service, and the fleet has tallied more than 2.4 million flight hours. It's those hours that are key. The S-92 has an airframe limit at 30,000 hours. And so that is usually what retires the aircraft. Now for typical applications, that's at least 15 years of operation. In most cases, it's 20 to 30. So once the aircraft gets close to that 30,000 hour limit, then that becomes a reasonably good candidate for an application like this. Helicopter Lessor Milestone Aviation, which has more than 70 S-92s in its fleet, was interested in finding a new later life role for the helicopter, and in combination with Australian firefighting equipment manufacturer Helitac, developed a supplemental type certificate for a belly-mounted water tank that expands as it fills. It is part of a suite of modifications to the airframe, performed by Canadian operator VIH Helicopters, which also served as the program's launch customer. What the bubble windows offers is the, the pilot increased visibility. He can get way more accurate water drops. You know, typically if you don't have a bubble window, you're sitting here with your head straight up and you're trying to kind of guess where the fire line is, but if you can stick your head out the window, you can hit that bullseye almost every time. We're gonna have an external torque gauge mounted here, so when the pilot's looking out the window, he can monitor his power. The tank is carbon fiber, very lightweight, is 5,000 liters. The tank is retractable, accordions in and out. This tank can be removed in 25 minutes, which makes it configured for other mission types. A high-speed pump allows the tank to be filled in less than a minute via snorkel. Other modifications include the removal of any unnecessary cabin furnishings. We take them into our facility, we, we lighten them up considerably. So the, the, the lighter the aircraft, the more water you can haul. With the addition of lightweight seating, the converted S-92 can carry up to 19 passengers and their equipment, making it especially suitable for carrying fire crews into action and then acting as a water bomber to support them. Thus far, VIH has converted two of the Milestone S-92s with a third underway. It's an emerging market. We're seeing these wonderful aircraft coming off of the offshore um, service after 20 years with still lots of life left in them. And so that's why we're doing this program to reconfigure them um, and offer them as utility configured aircraft. And there's going to be more and more that are going to be on the market. It's certainly next generation and it's going to be the future of the business. For AIN, I'm Kurt Epstein.